Hello, Linda. Hello, Matthew. <clears throat> um, I'm feeling a need to get started all over again. Ooh, deja vu. We already passed Groundhog's Day. Oh, uh, that's true. So mm -hmm. we've got a new, another question we're trying to, to share some info knowledge on, right? This is from uh, Real For Me. Uh, Real For Me. I wonder if it's a fishing thing or something else. Mm, could be. Or it's ah, uh, real. Who knows? Anyways, a uh, real for me, uh, ask the question, how to start over and remove the old stuff so I can import my desktop, which was set up correctly. My online was not set up correctly, but my desktop was. Now I want to import to my online. Um, so what do you what do you think well it depends <laughs> it depends on whether you're in simple start because you can't purge so there's a purge um, and I'm sure I'll put the link in right where they can purge you actually put the link in yeah. place to purge a file um, and you just stick that you open up the file the online file that you have existing put this link in so that it will purge it will actually erase everything that you had um, if you're in simple start you can't do that so just be, just know that it's not the end of the world. Just start a new file, abandon the other one, cancel it, whatever you have to do. If you pay for it for the year, you know, get your refund and then just pay for a new one and just start over. So you have that option and just reconvert the file into online from your desktop. Yeah, there's a couple questions that from the information that was provided that I would definitely want to ask. One of them, the biggest one being how much data do you have in there at this time? Yep. Um, if you've actually like, let's say it's been almost a year of time that you've had bank feeds connected, you've got all the transactions that are there. Uh, there's one other thing that I would suggest you can do if you're having to do, if you're no matter what, if you're going to do an overwrite, all that stuff. Um, if you have a year, they're not going to be able to do that because it's more than 60 days. So you, you'd have, yeah. Good point. Yeah. So uh, actually, I'm glad you said it that way. So 60 days uh, is the maximum. 60 days from the day you create that company file, you're allowed to go and purge everything and basically wipe it all. If it's anything longer than that, you're you just start no file. Correct. Mm -hmm. um, the, and if it is a disaster, right, you could just re import the bank feeds and, and just go from there if it was a whole year. I mean, we've done it as a cleanup. Yes. And if you've actually taken time to create the bank rules for the account, I would recommend that you come into your bank rules, right? We'll leave without saving this super crazy split one <laughs> and export your rules. This is probably mm -hmm. one of the best scenarios I've ever heard of to actually like export them. Mm -hmm. So you would export them, go to your new company, like finish your whole upload um, from desktop Make sure before you go from desktop up, make sure everything is reconciled all the way up to the farthest point possible. Every single account, like everything you possibly can, everything that's going to be hitting on your balance sheet, reconcile everything as much as possible just because you'll be much happier. Mm -hmm. uh, once it goes from there and goes online, of course, what that will do is it's going to show, it won't show as reconciled, but you have the ability then just to go to that same date and click the reconcile and it will like quickly reconcile everything up to that point. So and verify, verify, verify before you import anything or do anything in the file. Make sure you've got the trial balance set to accrual and to all dates and just make sure that the desktop matches the online. Yep. So you're going to pull up your profit and loss. You're going to pull up balance sheet for the given period of time. Both should be an accrual basis, right? Mm -hmm. um, and the whole point of that is you're trying to make sure that the, the balance is like you just said and desktop and a lot of your online are exactly the same. Keep in mind, there's a lot of other settings and things that go from desktop to online, which that do, they do not transfer to online. Any open invoices, any open bills, uh, take that into consideration. I mean, there's a whole bunch. We can try to put a link into the, to the video that the tells you to find that list, of course. So anything mm -hmm. else to add to it? Nope, that's it. I think that's the best way to start over. And if it sounds like he just turned his file over and then did something, it didn't work out so well, just, just you can purge if it's essentials or plus or advanced, I guess now too. So yeah. If you've got more questions, reach out. Um, I call this type of stuff data reconstruction. It's one of our, actually, it's one of Linda's specialties as well as my own. Uh, we love working with companies to literally take large amounts of data and get it pushed back in. Um, so reach out. We'll do what we can to help answer more questions. Okay.
on that note, I wish to wish everybody a very successful week. See you later. Bye.